Welcome to 2021. Welcome to the History Lord channel. Uh, you join us here today again in uh, our wonderful studio and I'm going Excuse to tell me. you all about it. Excuse me. What? What are you doing? It's a, um, presenting the his History Lord. Yes, my job presenting the History Lord channel. You're usually behind the camera ah. doing the technical things. Well, I just you? thought, you know, New, New Year, Year, New, New job. Host, yes. you know, and all this <laughs> kind of. If you haven't guessed already, this is James Alban. He's the one who's usually behind the camera doing all his wizardry um, and making me look as good as I possibly can. We have a different James behind the camera this time. We do. We've got James we Westlake. James Say Westlake. hello, Westlake. Hello, Westlake. There we are. There he's, he is. He's, he's very good at uh, taking instructions. <laughs> yes. He's brilliant. Um, what are we doing in this video? Well, uh, it's officially January the 1st now. It is. And so we're into 2021. Let's which hope is, it's better than 2020. Which, which, yeah, which I think everyone is is relieved about. And we thought it might be a good time to talk about what we've done in the last year. Mm -hmm. The History Lord started in 2020. It did, on, on St George's Day. On, on St George's Day. Easy for you to say, isn't it? Yeah, yes. well. And, um, Are you going to leave that in as, a, as a, an outtake? I, well, I, I just might leave it in generally. <laughs> um, and You have a habit of leaving outtakes in to make me look just slightly bad, don't you? Well... It makes you look more human. Oh, right. You know, exactly. because you are a lord. Yes. You know, people think, you know, you're probably untouchable. Infallible, I infallible. think is a better word. Not, not, yes. not untouchable, infallible. Yes. It's always a better word than untouchable. Um, and we thought it'd be a good chance to look back at what we've done and uh, maybe give a few sort of sneak peeks, not showing you anything, but telling you what might come up oh, yes. what we're, in the new year. What we're hoping to do in the coming months of 2021 yes. um I, I think there's a confession to make to all the viewers and that is we didn't actually intend to make a youtube channel did we no 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 we actually started out and we made seven videos to promote my walking tours of london but then lockdown came yes. and i couldn't do any walking tours and so james came up with the idea that we should just put them on youtube and see what happens and from that the history lord channel emerged and here we are 50 plus videos down the line yeah we started one per week yes. and now we're at two per, two week. per week who knows what 2021 <laughs> will bring i think two a week is is enough one a day i don't no. know <laughs> two uh, a week is enough two a week is enough for anyone um especially for me um uh, <laughs> and yeah 50 we well we've we filmed more well over 50 yes i'm mean, we've actually as we sit now, we've actually got videos enough if we don't film any more up until the middle of February. Yes. Episode 53, I believe, went up today, didn't it? To the, the, today as we're recording. As we're recording this, yes. Episode 53 went up today. Yes. So, yes. So, hopefully, yeah, we've got enough to go up until the middle of February. So, if we ever have another lockdown or whatever happens, we're, we're good for a while. So, you don't have to worry at no. home about missing out on... <laughs> There will always Historical be a video for you content to, to enjoy. Um, we actually do. Uh, we actually don't do much filming, do we? Many days filming. We actually do it all in I one. I think in total, day. excluding today, mm -hmm. I think we've done about four or five days of actual filming. I think we have. Yes. So really, like a, a working week's worth. <laughs> yes, in one day. And we've gotten, uh, yeah, we've gotten quite a few videos done. And most we've done in one day is eighteen videos. Yes. And that was the South Bank. But the microphone went a little bit haywire, haywire at the end. Which of the viewers will already know about. Yes, because, because some, of the, some of the videos we've had to re, um, revoice. Because and the, and the, the day we've probably done the least on was actually the first day James joined us. Ah, yes. Nothing to do with James. No, more James to do with, brilliant. More him, to do with me because I forgot uh, all the camera batteries but one. Um, and so. you bought the cheap one that only lasted for two hours. <laughs> yes. But we still managed to do seven videos that day. Yes. So that shows how quickly we, we work on these. I get the ideas. Um, I do all the, the background and then we just turn up in an area and we blitz it for the day and that's it. It does make it sound like it's all incredibly low effort, doesn't it? It's, it's not a low effort. Behind the camera, there's <laughs> a lot of effort. Your editing, for example, takes a while. Yes. Um, my researching does take a while, even though I do know a fair bit about London because of the walking tours. But some areas, for example, that, you know, when we went to the South Bank and things like that, not technically my area of expertise. So I have to do a little bit of research. And uh, 
the coming year, hopefully, we'll be doing some more in-depth videos, slightly mm. longer. So what have we got coming up? Well, hopefully, in the pipeline for next year. Well, hopefully, um, we'll have some more in-depth videos. I personally want to do um, a longer video about uh, Joseph Grimaldi, yeah. the, the, the father of clowning, modern clowning. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can go and visit his grave and where his, his haunts were in Clark and well and things like that. So that's my project. I'd like to do one about Denmark Street. Oh, yeah, the, the, the music of the Denmark fame, Street. Yeah, the music of Denmark Street. Well, you know, um, there was there was other things about Denmark Street. There was, um, sadly, there was the, the serial killer Dennis Nilsson was associated because yeah. he used to work in the job centre there. Um, it's where I believe the first aqualung was invented. Oh, really? Um, don't quote me on that. I think it was an aqualung, but that was Denmark Street. I think somebody once quoted that Denmark Street, for its uh, shortness in length, has got the most history crammed into it per square inch. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that's a good choice. Denmark Street is a good choice. Yeah, so definitely and, uh, we'll be doing something around that. Hopefully we can get hold of a, an old Route Master bus as well. Yes. We're working on that. Yeah. And we'll do a few things that w where we involve a, a Route Master bus, which uh, is close to my heart. <laughs> and hopefully some uh, well-known faces along the way. Hopefully, perhaps. perhaps. We're, gonna tr we're trying to persuade a few people to, to jump on board and a few collaborations, we hope, as well. Yeah. So we're just trying to expand. So before we go, yes, favourites of the year. What have been your favourites this year? Oh, um, favourite video. Uh, I think personally it had to be the fiftieth video, the London Palladium. Yeah, that was it was a personal thing for me. That's where my mother used to take me as a child, and uh, and I performed there as well. Um, shot wise, I think my favourite shot that you've taken of me this year yes. has been at the Animals in War Memorial which is now in the opening titles of me walking through the memorial. I think actually that was the first day I brought my gimbal along. It was, yes. And uh, we suddenly noticed the, the suddenly difference. Noticed a difference in, yeah. the, in the quality that you came up with. Um, What's yours? My favourite, because of the silliness alone, is probably the mousetrap video. Oh, right, yeah. Um, because that <laughs> is just very silly. Well, that was your idea to do that. Yes. I, I said, let's do a video about the mousetrap because it is the longest running play in the world. And you said, wouldn't it be funny if you tried to give away who did it all the time? Yeah, and that was fun. Well, do. I can now reveal that the murder <laughs> was... <laughs> and the other one, just because of the surprise of it, uh, which has come out recently as we're filming this, the Seven Noses of Soho video. Oh, yes. Which if you haven't watched yet, go and check it out. Because we had... The owner of the house. The owner of the house come out. And well, he didn't so, actually come out. He stood watching us. I thought, who, yeah. is this, who is this fellow? And he just stood there staring at me when I was doing the video. And uh, then uh, there was a slight pause in filming as I was about to do the end of the video. And he said, that's not one of Rick Buckley's, that's mine. And uh, you videoed the whole thing, but we yeah. didn't show that because that was a private conversation. But he did tell us that that was his house. And I have a confession about I'd met him before yes. because he did say, I know you. <laughs> and I thought, well, you know, fame, you know, follow him. But I had played... Um, not played in his house. I, that sounds wrong, wrong doesn't it? Does it does sound a bit wrong. Sounds a bit wrong. I had I had done a corporate event in his house that he hires out to uh, companies and things. Mm. So he recognised me from that um, a couple of years before. But that was that, that was, was a good, a good video. It was good because it was just like so unexpected. Yes. Um, and hopefully we can do more videos like this. We're just us two having a chat to the camera. Yes. You're a, a film buff and a historian from films and things like that. And so who knows. We might do a few more filmy things in the in the future, and hopefully James will be joining us more. Yes, we hope if so. If we can r rope him in, convince <laughs> him. Um, you, uh, another thing, if you look at the uh, the beer flood video that we did. Um, oh yes, that was uh, James was the man man with the sound with the microphone at the start. Of the at video. the start, you got in there. We thought that'd be a funny little yeah a little thing. We try not to take ourselves too seriously. <laughs> there are definitely some that are a bit more serious yes. than others, obviously. Yes, I'm, if we look back, the Mary Seacole video and the um, Edith Cavell, yeah. very serious subjects. Um, but yeah, we, we try not to take history too seriously. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us for, uh, for this year. And I hope you'll stick around for 2021. We have got a lot of exciting things planned. We have indeed. And it's a special treat for you. Why don't you say goodbye and do the outro? Oh, well, <laughs> if I can remember it. 
If you, uh, if you like this video, then please do subscribe. Hit the little notification bell down below to get notified of when we upload a video. Um, go to thehistorylord.co.uk to find out about Clifford's uh, walking tours of London. Uh, you can check out what I do as well in the description below. Uh, if, uh, Last Line Films on YouTube and uh, I've got a few podcasts and films etc. And check out what James Westlake does who's behind the camera uh, today as well. We've got links to some of his stuff in the description below as well so please go and check him out and f subscribe to him etc as he has been very kind and let us use his studio today um, thank you for watching and we will see you very soon for more historical fun <laughs> <laughs> happy new year everyone happy new year take care <laughs>